Russia's surge in the use of guided bombs has added new urgency to a long-running debate over whether Ukraine should be allowed to use weapons from Western allies to strike military targets deep inside Russia. The New York Times reports, Ukraine has for months asked for the use of Western long-range weapons to strike military installations that Russia uses to launch missiles and station warplanes that drop bombs, the publication says. U.S. officials speaking on condition of anonymity said that Britain and France, which provided Ukraine with long-range storm shadows stroke scalp missiles, are apparently waiting for approval from U.S. President Joe Biden, the New York Times noted. Biden, meanwhile, is facing pressure in U.S. foreign policy circles. In particular, senior U.S. military planners no longer advise doing so, the publication added. Biden now appears to be weighing how far into Russia to allow Ukraine to use the ATACMS missiles that the United States first gave to Kyiv last year in May. Biden reluctantly agreed to allow Ukraine to launch ATACMS into Russia to target military bases that were used to attack the Ukrainian border city of Kharkiv, the publication says. Experts say ATACMS could now specifically target Russian ground-based air defense systems that threaten Ukraine's nascent fleet of F-16 fighters, which could be critical in countering Russian guided bombs. But it remains unclear whether Ukraine would fly F-16s into Russia, and NATO countries that have donated the jets are divided on whether to do so. It is also noted that if the F-16s cross the border, they will be able to target Russian aircraft using American medium-range missiles known as AMRAM, which the United States has already sent to Ukraine. In addition, it is noted that the Biden administration is ready to provide Ukraine with JASM air-launched cruise missiles, which can be used with the F-16. Ukraine is already capable of striking deep into Russia with domestically built drones and is testing a new long-range surface-to-surface -surface missile that could be launched without Western permission. But when it comes to countering guided bombs, U.S. officials and experts say Ukraine will need to strike deep into Russia with fighter jets and ground-based air systems, nearly all of which would require Western approval. The Times writes. In early September, Russia received the first batch of 200 FAF-360 missiles from Iran to step up the bombing of Ukraine. However, as Forbes writes, these deliveries could turn against Russia itself as they could lead to serious changes in the strike campaign in Ukraine. There is a high probability that the FAF-360 deal will backfire on Russia. This could be the last straw for Ukraine's allies, who have so far prevented the Ukrainians from firing their best American and European ammunition at targets in Russia. With the appearance of Iranian missiles in Russia, there are signs that the situation may change. The publication writes, The FAF-360 is a satellite-guided ballistic missile that is carried on a 6x6 truck in two, three, four or six kits. Each missile weighs 1,700 pounds and has a range of 75 miles. The FAF 360's weight and range make it useful for use on the front lines or for bombing cities near the front. Ukrainian observer Alexander Kovalenko predicted that Russia will use these missiles to terrorize the border zone, particularly the Sumy and Kharkiv regions, while ruling out any critical impact on the Ukrainian rear or combat zone. All this suggests that the FAF 360 is not a miracle weapon. And if you consider that Russia launches an average of more than 300 missiles per month at Ukrainian cities, then the first 200 FAF 360s are too small a number to significantly change the trajectory of the war, especially considering that Ukrainian air defenses usually intercept a quarter of incoming missiles. Forbes believes the Russians may come to regret their alliance with the Iranians, however, as a Russian-Iranian missile alliance could be what finally convinces Western leaders to allow Ukraine to use ATACMS and British-made Storm Shadow cruise missiles against targets deep inside Russia. The US Secretary of State Antony Blinken acknowledged that the arrival of the FAF-360 at least justifies another conversation about restrictions, and he promised to be receptive to the arguments of the Ukrainians. Iran and Russia have signed a contract to deliver hundreds of missiles by the end of 2023, the U.S. Treasury Department said in a statement. Russian troops trained to use the missiles over the summer. Russia received the first batch of missiles earlier this month. 
As noted by expert Alexander Musienko, it is difficult to shoot down Iranian missiles with air defense systems. However, they can be fought in another way by destroying storage depots and launchers. Three of Europe's most influential countries, Britain, Germany and France, have issued a joint statement regarding the supply of Iranian missiles to Russia. They called the events a direct threat to European security. The statement was published including on the official website of the German Foreign Ministry. The transfer of missiles is an escalation on the part of both Iran and Russia. It also represents a direct threat to European security, the three countries said in a joint statement. They urgently suspended bilateral air traffic agreements with Iran and announced new sanctions against individuals and organizations linked to Iran's missile program and the transfer of FAF-360 to Russia.